get ready for some absolutely adorable fall and Halloween DIYs. Hello everyone, if you guys are new, my name's Liz. For today's video, I have some really fun fall and Halloween DIYs for you guys. I think you guys are going to absolutely love them. I've been loving creating fall DIYs lately because fall is just my favorite season to craft for. It's my favorite season to decorate for. So I hope that you guys enjoy these. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. So for this DIY, when I saw the Hocus Pocus transfer on Chargator's website, I knew that I wanted to use it for a large sign. So I actually have this cabinet door that I purchased from the brass armadillo back when I lived in Arizona. I think I paid like four dollars for this. It was already painted white. So all I did was use my surface wax from Chargator on the back of it and then I got my transfer. I checked how sticky it was just because if it's not super sticky I don't worry about fuzzing it but if it is pretty sticky then I will go ahead and use my fuzzing cloth on it and I just did that probably about four to five times. I laid my transfer out where I wanted it and I'm going to use my black chalk paste over the entire thing. Now here is a prime example of just going with your instincts and not, you know, going against them. <laughs> I, with transfers this big, I normally do the peel and dry method where you add your paste to half of your transfer, then peel it up and dry it and then lay it back down and do the other portion. And for some reason, I was like, oh, I can do this fast enough. It'll be fine. I take my time when I do my charcoal, which means that it doesn't always work the first time. So I peeled up my transfer and I had taken too long on it when I peeled it up. Some of it dried to the transfer. So I washed it and I'm going to try this again and show you the way that if you are a little bit slower like me, the way that you should do it. You're going to add your paste to a third of your project. You're going to peel that portion right up. Take your heat gun and dry the paste so it's all nice and dry. Once it's dry, you're going to lay your transfer back down, smooth it out again, and then I continue to put my paste on here. Just added that black paste with the squeegee. Now I'm just going to do the middle portion of it. So if you are somebody who can't do this fast enough, like me, then this is the way to do it. It just makes it a whole lot easier and you're not having to go back and redo it again like me. I should have just done it this way the first time, knowing me. And then I just go back through it the third time, add my paste, and then that is it. That's all you got to do for this one. I didn't do anything special. I just added the Chakrator transfer and I think this looks so cute on an entryway table. You could add it to a mantle. I just think it's a really fun piece to add for Halloween. For this DIY, I'm going to take three of these floating shelves. Now, if I had had four of them, I would have used all four for this, but I only had three. So I'm going to make myself a floral centerpiece. And to do that, I am just going to use two of the floating shelves as the sides. And then I measured out the sides. I have this love sign that I was going to use for the bottom, but in the end, I ended up using the larger planks that Dollar Tree has and I used that as the bottom. So you're just going to cut your sides down to the width of your bottom piece and I used the wood glue super glue that you can get from the Dollar Tree to adhere these to the sides and I'm just adding my two smaller side pieces to my larger side piece. I kind of squeeze that bottom plank down in there and then I add my last side to my box and then I am going to go through with some tumbling tower pieces just to make sure this is all nice and sturdy. I just add some wood glue, hot glue to the tumbling tower piece and I just put one of these in each corner just as a bit of reinforcement so that the box doesn't come falling apart on me. And then I just left this color that it was. If you want to paint it, you definitely could. But I liked that wood look to it that it had. And I have some floral foam and I just hot glue that to the bottom. And now these are some eucalyptus leaves that I got from the Dollar Tree. I had actually used these in a wreath DIY 
but I took it apart so that I could use it for this one. And I'm just going to go through and put all of my eucalyptus leaves in there. I also had this really pretty pick from Michaels. I love the burnt orange colors and it had berries and pumpkins. And I just thought this one was adorable. So I cut that all apart and I just began sticking those in there. Really no rhyme or reason to how I'm doing it. You just do whatever you think looks best. And then I also had some of these leaves that I thought were really pretty and I just took a couple of those and kind of stuck it where I thought things were looking a little bit sparse and then I had a couple pieces of cotton that came from a little pick from the Dollar Tree I just stuck those in there I also have these really pretty pumpkins that came from the Dollar Tree with the clips on the back I clipped those on there as well and then I took this sign from the Dollar Tree and I pulled that front piece off I thought this would look really pretty in the middle of this box and you can tell I messed up once and I had to take it off, but I just centered it as best as I could. And I thought it just looked so cute on the front of this box. And then to finish it off, I had these decorative tacks. I just hot glued them in the holes that were already there in the wood. And that's it for this DIY. This was so easy, so cute. And I think this would make an adorable centerpiece. For this DIY, I am going to do the haunted house kit from Chocotor. I have been dying to do this ever since I got it, and I think that the Halloween houses turned out so cute. So this kit, I got the transfer and the houses, and I just cut my transfer all apart into separate pieces, and I started by painting my houses. So for the tall one, I painted that all the way black. For my middle size house, I painted that with my Waverly chalk paint and silver lining, and then for the smallest house I took the chalk paste rust and a little bit of water and I just mixed that together and then painted that last house in that color and then I just started applying my transfer so I'm going to take the big house transfer and onto the big house I'm going to use my chalk paste in white and I just make sure to cover that entire thing you want to make sure you're not doing too much and that you're scraping as much off at the end as you can and it reveals a really fun house and then I'm just gonna do this for all three houses for the middle house I'm going to use the rust chalk paste all over the front of it and then I'll peel that off and then for the smallest house I'm gonna use the black chalk paste and then I just make sure to take these straight over to my sink and give them a good wash so that if I want to use them in the future I can and then I added a couple little details. So for the middle house, there was this little cat transfer that came with the houses. I added that on there and added my black chalk paste to it. So I have a cute little black cat sitting on my house. And then for the larger house, there was this little wooden piece that's supposed to be for doors, but I added the beware transfer on there in white and then added the little sticky dot that comes with the kit and then added that onto the door of my large one. And then it also has these sayings that you can overlay on the top, but I decided to add these to other pieces that I had. So I have this chalkboard stand from the Dollar Tree and then I did the Welcome Foolish Mortals just in my chalk paste in white added that on there, removed it, and then I ended up also painting the rest of the sign just with my Waverly chalk paint in black just so that it would all match. And then for the other saying, I took this little sign that I had from Hobby Lobby. This came in a pack. I want to say I grabbed these around Christmas time. I can't remember, but it has a little hanger on the top and I just took that off. I painted the frame and the backing all black and then I took a chip brush and dry brushed the frame. And then I added my wax to the front of my sign, added my transfer, used the white chalk paste on it and then just added the sign back into the frame and that is it for these DIYs. I think these turned out so cute. I love these sitting on an entryway table all decorated for Halloween. They were so much fun to do and I love that you can customize them to match your Halloween decor.
For this DIY, I grabbed this Autumn Leaves and Pumpkin Please sign that came from the Dollar Tree, and then I'm going to pull out a couple sheets of this paper that came from this paper pack off my website, moredecalintopore.com. At the current moment, it is not in stock, but I am getting more, so if you want to get on that wait list, make sure that you sign up for there on my website. And then I just cut out a couple pieces, this Pumpkin's 25 cents, and then I cut down this other piece of paper to fit in the very back of the sign. I glued that down and then all I'm going to do is glue down the pumpkins 25 cents on top of it and that'll be it for this DIY. I love this. I love that the scrapbook paper kit comes with some pictures like this and some prints and I just think it's so much fun to layer on top of each other and make a really simple piece but I think this turned out adorable. Another DIY that is so simple, you're going to grab a vase of any kind, you're going to grab some florals, and really, I don't know how much of this you can actually call a DIY, but I had these pumpkins that came from the Dollar Tree, and I thought that they were so adorable, and I knew that I wanted to add them to a floral arrangement, so I'm just showing you how you can stick it in a floral arrangement and have it be super cute. So I just added it right on in there. I took some ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby. I love this mustardy color for fall. And I just tied that around, tied it in a double knot, frayed the ends, added a couple more little picks from Hobby Lobby that I thought were really cute. And that's all you got to do. This is so easy. The other floral bouquet that I got was from Michael's. And I just think that this turned out super adorable. So you don't have to do a bunch of big long DIYs to get a really pretty look. This took me two minutes to put together and I think it's so cute. For this DIY, I have had this Target Dollar Spot sign in my stash for a while now, and I knew I wanted to use it, and it had the perfect colors on it for fall. So I'm going to grab this Chocotour transfer that says choose to be grateful. I just cut that out and centered it in the middle using my rust chalk paste from Chocotour. I add that to the saying with my little squeegee. Just make sure that I get everything nice and covered and not too much, so you're making sure that you are getting as much off as you can before you lift up your transfer. And then I'm also going to take the little leaves that came with this transfer and using my chalk paste and eucalyptus. I did it on each side of the saying. And that's it. Super easy. Took me five minutes to do. And I think this sign turned out so stinking cute. I love the colors for fall. And I think this one is really pretty sitting on a shelf. Or you could even hang it on your wall because it's got the hanger on the back. But I think this one was really fun. For this DIY, I'm going to grab the wooden pumpkins that you can get from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to use some spackle on the hole in the top just to make sure that that's nice and covered because I don't want the hole there. I'm going to start by painting it with my Waverly chalk paint in white. I just did one coat of this and then I am going to take these window clings that came from Dollar Tree. I had done a bunch in my last video and I didn't have the chance to use this one and I knew I wanted to use this one for a DIY. So I added some Mod Podge to the the back and with a sponge brush just kind of spread that around so that it would stick to my pumpkin and then I'm just going to center that into the middle of my pumpkin and then I also really liked the way that they had those leaves placed around the give thanks saying so I just placed those exactly how they were on the sheet that it came on onto the pumpkin. 
And once I had those on there, I took some more Mod Podge and I just spread it over the entire thing, kind of like a top coat to make sure that everything is nice and stuck down. Once that was dry, I took my Waverly Wax and Antique on a chip brush and I'm going to start painting that stem. And then I dragged the wax all the way around my pumpkin, giving it a distressed look. That's it for this DIY. Super, super easy to do. I love the Dollar Tree fall window clings this year. If you haven't seen my last video, I will link it down below so you can check out all the things that I did with their window clings. That's it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know which project was your favorite in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe before you guys leave. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Bye.